What's up, guys? It's Ekroll. I am back to play League of Legends. Today I'm playing Kaisa, the Daughter of the Void, in the bot lane. Uh, I noticed that I haven't really been playing AD carries in the bot lane. You know, I've, I've been playing, like, well, mid laners, top laners, and junglers. So it, it's only fair that I should at least get, like, one out here. And who better than the newest face of League of Legends, Kaisa? I mean, she's one of the most popular characters played right now. And she is insanely good for her abilities. She is kind of overloaded, but whatever, man. Alrighty. So it looks like these guys are trying to, uh, you know, start some trouble with us. Wait, he's dead. He's dead. Wait. Get back here, boy. I ain't done with you yet. Boom. I'm walking out with two kills. Look how strong Kaisa is, boys. You see how easy that was. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, I guess I should probably get into her abilities now, eh? So, uh, her Q is called the Kathian Rain, and she shoots six little missiles out on the nearest targets. It can go to many, many targets, or it can just go to one. It's pretty crazy. Uh, her second ability is called Voice Seeker. She shoots out like a giant orb, and see, it goes pretty damn far. Uh, her E, Supercharge, lets her get super fast, like a lot of speed. And her R is Killer Instinct, where she has a mark on an enemy, then she gets to jump to that enemy. I guess I'm fighting as uh, Rengar ADC. It's kind of weird. Um, do I have a bounty? I do have a bounty. So I'm just going to go ahead and back now. You know, better safe than sorry. Actually, no, I'm going to stay. I think I can stay for a little bit longer. I just need a little bit more gold. Once I get a little bit more gold, I'll back and buy my Tier of the Goddess. Um, I am playing... You need to build a Tier of the Goddess on... What's her name? Kaisa? Because it is mandatory. Boom, I got another kill. Alright, well, uh... Alright, that's a 3-0 Kaisa already. If Rengar jumps on me right here, I'll just kill him. Right here. Boom! Got another kill. And see, right now, what you do is you hold down the control button, and you push the 2 button as fast as you can. Four and zero at three minutes. Good start. All right, now I'm gonna back. I'm gonna pick up my tier of the goddess, and I'm gonna build it into man immune. I don't have enough gold for that just yet, which is fine because I'm just gonna pick up these stat boosting items, and boom, I'll I'll, I'll pick up a third. Um, this is just my regular playlist. I don't know. I just put it on for whatever. So sorry, boys. Weird music today. I'll cover my runes real quick since I have a moment to breathe now. I have Hail Blades, which allows me to get the first three auto attacks off. Boom, 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 really quickly. Sudden Impact allows me to, whenever I use a dash or something, I get extra lethality or magic penetration, which I'll be probably getting lethality. Uh, Eyeball Collection to get extra attack damage when I kill wards and whatnot. And uh, Rabbitus Hunter, which gives me additional healing on my abilities. Presence of Mind gives me mana back whenever I get a takedown on enemies. It also counts for uh, assists as well. And then Coup de Gras, which gives me 8% more damage towards enemies who are below 40% health. So, there's that. Quick rundown. Um, so, I built Tier of the Goddess, which is an item that is meant for uh, basically stacking. Because you it starts off really with nothing, and you get more and more mana over time. And how you use it is you just spam your abilities until you get 750 mana gain. So, I'm going to be spamming my abilities as much as I can here. And, I mean, yeah, I am going to run out of mana, kind of, but uh, it's worth it, because, well, it's just, it's, trust me, it's worth it. And plus, Kai'Sa has quite a decent amount of damage early game. You know, it's not, like, insane or anything, but it's it's good enough to keep me held off for now. Apparently, that was in tower range, and I still didn't take a tower shot, so easy peasy, boys. I'm going to up these minions. I'm getting ganked, I think. Crack that Rengar a lot. He he picked the bad fight there. 
Oh, I hold on. I get the gimmick. They're both cats. Okay, I, I get the gimmick now. They're it's the kitty cat bot lane. They're funny. All right, Rengar's right there. Anyway, hope you guys' day is going well. Hope uh, life is treating you guys well. Thanks for stopping by to check out the video. If you guys enjoy it, please leave a like or on the video. I I'll appreciate it a lot. Ooh. Ooh. So right here, I'm trying to just pressure them a little bit. You know, trying to keep them back. Deny them farm if I can. Seems to be working pretty well. Uh, you know, I've actually been using a lot of mana. But I've been holding off on half mana for a while now, so... I'm chilling. So right here, I'm just, like I said, I'm just pressuring them still. I'm trying to get as much, like, pressure on them and also as many stacks on my uh, Tier of the Gods as I can. Like, I already got 84 out of 750. I probably could have more if I was a little bit more frugal and better with my timing, but, you know. Oh, I'm dead here. Oh, oh I got minion blocked. Oh, man, I didn't have a ward up. How stupid of me. I threw I blundered that really badly. Oops. Wait. Wait. Huh? I mean Yeah, okay. I threw that in the trash. That was a silly play of mine, but uh Swain picked up a kill there because these guys are Wait, this Yumi has three kills. What in the world? I don't even know what's happening anymore, boys. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore, man. But a uh, small cat is taking care of big cat, apparently. <laughs> right now, uh, it is 104 degrees outside in my house. And I don't have a working AC. I've been sweating balls lately. Super not fun. So, you know, I decided to play Kaisa because she's like one of the sweatiest characters people can play right now. And I figured, you know what? It's, it's fitting, right? It's fitting. So, yeah, I'm playing Kaisa. She's a lot of fun. You can build her a lot of different ways, it seems like. Like, I think people still build her AP. I don't know for sure. I think people still build her with ability power sometimes. I just, I'm just going with the standard, you know, the, the run of the mill build for her. Just, you know, building uh, attack speed, damage, whatnot. A little bit of ability power later on to kind of help out. I guess we're rolling up uh, mid lane to help. Right here? Boom. Right there, baby. Oh, no. That's a bummer. Oh, right here. Got yourself a little ward. Boom. Alright, we've got 6 out of 10 right now with our eyeball collection. Put a ward on dragon, so that way we have priority on dragon pressure. We can just, you know, see if they're trying to go for it or not. Uh, they got a... They got the new... New and improved volley bear in their team. Um, so that's... Fun. Oh, I have my ulti now. All right, these guys don't want to fight. They're just playing around. But yeah, Volibear just got recently reworked, and he seems pretty strong right now. He's oh, what the hell? Oh my god, I'm getting four man ganked. Huh? Well, how about that? Well, that was fun. Just get four man ganked bot lane real quick. That is not cool. Well, happens. Uh, look at this Ash. He's so quick. Look at that. Wow. She just rolled up. I'm gonna fire off my Void Seeker real quick. This Pantheon is just gonna mindlessly push, huh? He's just gonna keep going. Okay. Anyway, you build you build Kaisa like I said in, in, in a bunch of different ways. You know, you can build her as an assassin, you can build her as a uh, as an AP assassin, build her as just a standard. Do quite a bit of damage to him. Oh my God, he does quite a bit of damage to me with that Q. All right, they picked up a kill there. I'm really not in a position to help and fight, so I'm just gonna pack off. Yikes, boys. All right, I'll roll up to see if I can help out just a little bit, but if I get thrown, if I get a Q thrown at me, I'm dead. Let's 
bad news, boys. It's bad news. All right, they're getting a little wild right now with their plays. Like, I'm surprised they're just going to keep doing stupid stuff like this, but, you know, what do you expect? This is normal games. Uh, yeah, usually I've been playing ranked. You know, every other game, uh, every other video I've had before this has been ranked, but this one, I just, I'm just not that confident in the AD carry role these days, you know? I dare you, Rengar. I dare you. Oh, my Q would not come out. They should be able to get him, but... Oh, Ash was not paying attention. Yikes. I feel like if Ash turned right there, they could have killed him, but... uh Oh, wait. Ash might just get three kills anyways. They might get three kills. My Swain is barely level six. All right, I'm out of here. No more crazy stuff, boys. No more crazy stuff. I'm just going to go go farm. They got that handled. The best way to get ahead as an AD carry is to farm. Like, this guy has more farm to me right now, even though I have more kills than him. And right now, it's a bad idea. That's the biggest problem with Kai'Sa and other, like, really high-level uh, characters. Like, high skill cap characters. You feel it, right? You feel that, like, that urge to just go crazy and go ham, you know? But you got to fight that. you got to pick your fights correctly. You know, you got to fight those weird-ass urges. Play smart, you know, not hard. So what I'm just going to go ahead and do is just farm bot lane. You know, Rengar's mid. I'm just going to farm this up as much as I can. Get as much gold as I can. See if I can push this tower out. You know, maybe I can get this Maybe I can get this plate right here. Get an extra 150 bucks. That'd be cool, right? All right, boom. Pick that up. While I'm farming this, I'll go ahead and smash the uh, mini wave a little bit. All right, we got first turret as well. Hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm dead here. All right, Rengar's going to jump right, right here. Wait, does he have Dust Blade already? My god, he does. I shouldn't be running towards things. Oh, man. <sighs> Rough. Rough. Bad, bad looks, boys. It's all right. Got my item. Got my gold. They're just going to run down. Okay, so I, I have a pretty good idea of what they're going to do now. They're just going to they're just gonna be roaming assassin boys all game. You know, they're going to try to just get picks all day long, which is fine. I mean, they can do that. Now that I'm kind of, like, more aware of what they're doing, I guess I can play around it better. But uh, I didn't think he was going to have his first item already, considering he was 1-3. and three, But, you know, what do you, what do you know, right? They're going to get this tower as well. Hey, that's not good. Wait, is she dead from tower? No. I thought she was just going to die to that tower real quick. This would be nuts. Oh my god. That was insane. Look at that. That was nuts. I was instantly dead. I need I need my support with me. He hasn't been... He hasn't been a bot lane in a while. It's been a few minutes. He's been hanging out mid lane. He really needs to be helping me. That's rough. No, so that's that's embarrassing. You know, I had such a big lead. I was four and zero, and I'm four and five. That's pretty embarrassing. But hey, you know, I should be able to pick it back up. We got my team down here now. I'll I'll try to get down here as fast as I can. We could probably pick this fight now. Rengar doesn't have ulti, I think. Oh, Rengar has ulti. Never mind. That's that amount of damage is nuts. But yeah, so they're they're just trying to assassinate everybody as much as they can now. That's that's their whole plan. Just be assassins. Yikes. See, normally if there was a bad game like this, I would just be like, oh, I'm gonna call. You know, I'm not gonna. I'll just turn this recording off and uh, you know, try try just try again next game, right? But I don't think that's the right play here. I think this is a very salvageable game. It's just a matter of uh. Well, we have to. We all have to work together to beat these guys, because now they have three giant assassin dudes just rolling around trying to insta kill me, because they want to keep me down, which is smart. They, you know, they should try to keep me down because I am potentially very strong. We could switch with top, but that wasn't really the issue. It's not necessarily like, oh, we need to switch. It's more so like. 
I think I just needed my support with me. You know, I, I think I really needed him. But, uh, you know, whatever, right? Like, right now, he, he should be helping me with this. But proactively warding is good. Just a matter of, like, I don't trust this guy to, like, not just leave me behind again. Because, you know, he's done it before. Oh, I'm dead. Look, I'm going to die right here to Rengar again. Tower's not going to save me. They'll just dive tower. Oh, wait, never mind. They backed off. I think he clicked on, like, a minion or something. Yikes. That is that is bad news, boys. But sorry, we got 6 and 0 Chogas. Chogas one of the craziest tanks around just because he gets to just eat things and get more health, which is ridiculous. All right, Rengar's ulti is down, but unfortunately it doesn't matter because they're just going to jump in a bush somewhere and probably, like, he'll, he'll jump in a bush and assassinate me like they did before with the Yumi ultimate, which is not fun. Oh, he got so much health back. He got so much health back from that Yumi. That was nuts. Yeah. We just can't fight them there. He actually just full-on wins that fight fair and square. He got bursted down to nothing, and then he just, you know, got all of his health back from that Yumi heal. Uh, he has built-in healing on his W as well. It just reduces uh, burst damage. But yeah, that that was insane with the uh, the Rengar. Yeah, and she she has Mikhail's Crucible, which gives her shield power, heal power, and I think it's uh has quick. Yeah, it removes all forms of crowd control as well. Yikes, boys! It's all right. I think. I, like I said, I think this is winnable. You just got to keep that positive mental, you know. This is a bit of a tragedy, you know, a bit of an upset, right? But you just got to keep it in you, boys. Keep that mental in the positive, and you might be able to win it no matter what. Keep that in mind. All righty. I'm going to roll up here and try to help this boys out. How close am I to this? be a lot higher if I didn't... Uh, Spend half this game with a gray screen. Are these guys duo or something? Being smart asses. I can do a bunch of damage to her. It's just a matter of, you know, actually getting her. She's super slippery of a champion. Oh, I fired that one off to, like, Japan or something. Dude, that was weird. That slow was ridiculous. You know what? I'll just pop the summon heal now. Dang. Oh, hey. We got a uh, Pantheon rolling up. Pick up that kill on him. Picked up a kill on him, too. That, see, that's what I'm saying, boys. Games are winnable. You just got to, you know, look out for their mistakes and capitalize on them. Those two rolling up like that, that's... That was a mistake. They shouldn't have done that. Alright. We're almost done with this tower. Alright. Let's get out of here. Look. Rengar's trying to come in on us. Alright. Alright. There's no more. No more flirt with disaster like that. You know. We're going to back off. Our jungler is building tank. Uh, that's weird. Well, whatever. This I don't play Elise. Maybe this guy knows more about Elise than I do. I've just I've never seen Elise's build a uh, tank item like that. All right, right here I get to evolve my ability. See, you might have seen these bars, right? When these bars fill up, I get to evolve one of the abilities so they do like extra effect. So remember how I used to fire six of those little pellets? Now I get to shoot twelve of them. So it's literally just twice as strong. Uh, here, once I get a certain amount of ability power, I'll be able to get my Void Seeker. And once I get a certain amount of attack speed, I'll be able to get my Supercharge. Uh, upgraded, that is. So, the next item I'm going to get is probably going to be Nasher's Tooth. Because Nasher's Tooth is a incredibly good item for Kaisa. 
I have 10 seconds on my ultimate. I'm going to ping that and let my team know. Alright, we got Pantheon teleporting bot lane. See? Are we starting this dragon or what, guys? Alright. Rengar most likely is going to ulti in right here and just try to kill me. Alright, so they're not paying attention to me, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump them real quick. They weren't paying attention to me at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and just jump these guys. Right here. Boom. Pick them up. See? Remember what I was saying? Got to keep that mental positive, baby. Because, look at that. I was 4-0. Then I was 4-7. Oh, that's gross, right? Went from 4-7 to 7-7 just from playing smart. You know, being proactive, keeping that positive mental. Got to keep your mental in check 24-7 because at the end of the day, your biggest enemy is going to be yourself. Yeah, you know, maybe your team could be crazy, right? Maybe your team might do some <laughs> some psycho plays. But at the end of the day, your only person you're, you're able to keep in charge of is yourself. So do your best to keep yourself in check first. Then worry about your enemy team. All right. Picked up some items here. Picked up some items there. I get to evolve my supercharge. Easy peasy. Now I got my level 2 supercharge. So now supercharge... On top of giving me the movement speed and the attack speed, it also makes me invisible. Invisibility for half a second. Doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, if you ever fight against a Vayne who pushes the R button, half a second is plenty. I mean, the repositioning ability is awesome. You know, you can move around invisibly with, you know, in an invisible way. I don't I think invisibly is a word, right? I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong, boys. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you get to move around when you're invisible and uh, move around. All right, right here, I got my Muramana charged up. Easy peasy. I got my level 2 ultimate now as well. All right, so Muramana charged up. Check this out. Gives me extra attack damage, 44, and it refunds 15% of the mana I spend. On top of that, spells consume 3% of my mana and deal bonus physical damage equal to twice the amount of mana I spend. So, what that means, right, is that if I use 3% of my mana, I'm dealing 6% of the mana I took as damage as well. On top of my spell damage. So, that's, that's pretty nuts. And I pretty much just don't have mana problems anymore at this point. Alright, what do we got here? We got 9-1 Cho'Gath, who's pretty much backpacking us. I'm 5-5. Five and five, or Sorry, I'm 7-7. Seven seven, Swain is 5-5. Five we're actually getting picks now. See, these guys are really, really strong in the early game, and I'm pretty sure they were trying to, like, wrap this up in the early game. Oh, I'm dead. All right, did I pick up a shutdown at least? No, I got shut down. Bummer. Yeah, Rengar is still strong, and he's still, he can still just whoop my ass for free. Um, I was thinking maybe, 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 maybe I might buy a, uh, what is it called? might buy a Zonia's Hourglass, but I don't know for sure. I don't know if I want to build that. I might just build, like, I might just go crazy and build, like, a Death Stance or something, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. Right now, the possibilities, right now, the, the options are, A, might build a Zonia's. B might build a storm razor or C I might build like a crazy like I don't know some some crazy boy uh storm razor maybe storm razor might be good we'll see we'll see I kind of I, I don't know just yet oh yeah damage see that <clears throat> all that damage was crazy my Q's up off cooldown again like yeah he heals it all back you know what I might get is a mortal reminder I think that might be what I buy as a mortal reminder. Once I'm done with my Nasher's Tooth, that is. We'll see. Oh, she is super duper dead. Or not. She's just going to ulti out and stuff. Okay. So I actually don't want to fight here because their team has a lot of area of effect damage and being in choke points like this, that's bad news. I don't like that. I'm going to put a ward there, though, to be safe. 
All right, what is going on here? All right, he's dead. I don't know what that was all about. That was a super questionable play. Um, I think Rengar is still ulted. Yep. All right, I was going to kill him real quick. All right, kill her real quick. Half second of visibility. Get in there real fast. Slip on in. Boom. So, oh, whoops. Leveled the wrong item there. So, boom. Right there, just kind of sneaking on in. Clear his minions out. Get this inhibitor. Oh, yeah, I can probably pick up this inhibitor in no time. Do some more some more tactical crouching, you know? Looks like we might be able to end this game. Boink. All right, we can't, we can't end, but we can definitely mess up tower. Or I'm dead here. He's gonna jump in on me. Let me stand next to Swain, maybe he'll jump on Swain. Jump on Swain, brother. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> That's all right. Play with my food a little bit too much there. It really do be like that sometimes. All right, where what was the item I was gonna get? Oh yeah, not that. That is not what I was gonna get. Let's see. I gotta think of an item that builds into it. Here, go here. Nope, can't build that either. Dang. I was gonna click on one of the components, you know, and build into it from there. But literally none of the items that are in the recommended build into it, so can't do that. At least he's going to go ahead and just try to contest this against... Wow. He is 2 and 7. Yikes, they're all going to go kill her too. Ooh, that's rough, boys. Bit of advice for you guys. Uh, if you're running from Rengar, don't run to the bushes. Because he gets to jump out at you. Look at how much mana I've got back. That's insane. Yeah, the, uh, the, the mana you get back really synergizes well with your Miramana since you get to just keep getting mana to use on the uh, spells you're consuming your mana with. So, good synergy. Good synergy. I really don't want to be playing up this much. I am actually, like, still, I'm still just a mere baby, you know. So, actually, I think Rengar is still ahead of me when it comes to gold. If this Cho'Gath could get, like, a sick knockup on him, that'd be sick. But, uh, you know. Wow, that was actually pretty decent. Hella decent damage for just landing a W. Go ahead and keep farming that. Smack him again. And right now... Oh, my God, I'm dead. Oh, I got one, though. Well, actually, I didn't get him, but... As soon as that root comes out, I'm just... I'm dead to rides. That's unfortunate. Wow. That, uh... That Akali just got bursted. It was no one's business, but she's back in full health. This is the biggest problem I have with, uh... This elo. Is that it feels like I can't wrap up a game in this elo. Like, people are just messing around. You know, they could have gotten that tower. They still could get that tower. But they're not getting the tower. That's, like I said, that's by far the biggest issue I have with this elo is that they could have messed up the tower. They might have even been able to end the game because Chogath is so tanky. But they decided not to. Here. Don't buy wits in. This guy, see, this guy's building a wits in now. You know, he, he's plenty tanky. He could choose to get tankier by building like a Warmog's armor or something or like a spirit massage. But he decided to buy a uh, what's end instead. So yeah, I don't know. Don't know what that was about. It says what's in in the Banshee's Veil. I don't, know. don't know about that one, Chief. I'm just gonna go ahead and farm top lane. Get as much CS as I can. So you see that updated or not updated? Upgraded Q. It makes the the uh, wave clear insanely fast because. It's not even a point and click ability. It's just a click ability. You don't have to point on them. You just click and it fires off. It's super, super easy to just wave clear with. 
All right, right here. I'm thinking about backing. Yeah, I can't. I can't get to that fight in time. Honestly, me being there isn't going to change anything either. Unfortunately, actually, I, I I am wrong. All right, I was wrong. But that's all right. They still got it handled. Look at that. They got it handled. They didn't need me anyway. So right there, they just got the eat off. Uh, if at least lands this stun, that will be insane. But he's just too fast because uh, Yumi. That's all right though. This is honestly, this is probably GG because they're all dead except for these two, the bot laners, and that makes life a lot easier for us who want to push. All right. Whatever. Keep running it down to try to end the game, but they're probably just going to end the game before I even get there, so. Whatever. Still coming, you know. No, no, don't back. We can end the game here. Oh, my God. And Yeah, he backed. Could have ended the game, but, uh. We could have ended the game there, but, you know. Cho'Gath back. That was extremely questionable of him. <sighs> he says we can win any time. But uh, I don't know if that's true. Because I feel like with those plays, if they get one good fight off, we might just lose the game. I, this is another reason another reason why I really don't like playing normal games is because people really don't take the game seriously at all they just mess around and you know like this like this show gath where it's just well we could just end any time like okay well you know how come you died there so it, it's it's questionable to say the least like right there not yeah that's that's bad that's really really bad so Whoops. Whoops, did not mean to say that in all chat. But oh well. Can't take it back now. This guy just like, I don't know. He said something about like not playing the game or something. I don't know if he's just like, he really just hasn't played the game or something. But like, he, he said something about just never playing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to keep farming so I can get my next item. I have no idea what my, the next item is probably going to be. I don't know. Maybe a maybe a life steal item or something. I might get like a like a hextech gun blade to get extra life steal. I don't know. Yeah. Right now we're getting picked off one by one. This is this is not a good uh, not a good omen you might say. We'll see. It's all right. I still believe. Right. You see. I was starting to get into the tilt zone a little bit there, but I need to pull it back. I got to pull back away from that tilt because I think we can win. I do. Like, actually, I know for a fact we can win. It's just, like, honestly, the victory isn't uh, being threatened by the enemy team as much as it is it's by our team. When someone strong like our Cho'Gath is refusing to end the game, it makes life really difficult. All right. I do not condone this plan. I'm not condoning to do this. I'm not saying do this in your rank game, boys and girls. But I'm building a Hextech Gunblade so I can get the active to slow people down if I need to. And I get a lot of spell vamp, which is very good. So that's the mentality. That's the plan. That's the strategy. I'm getting that mixed damage as well. Don't condone this in rank games unless I, unless I get like 10 kills and don't die. Then maybe. But for now, I do not condone it. Oh boy. Right now we're just waiting. We have to just wait until a fight breaks out. Hope for the best. Alright, hey, that's a Yumi ultimate down. Alright, Rengar's ulting now. Alright, boom, got ourselves a kill. Got ourselves another kill. I'm gonna ulti in right here. Go ahead and just shoot him up. 
Boom, shoot him up. All right, now we can end, right? All right, I'm going to end the game. I can end the game by myself if I need to. I'm going to. This guy, these guy, this guy is literally not trying to end the game. I'm going to try to end the game. GG, boys. That's how you play Kaisa. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. Hope you guys have a great day. This is Ikarol. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Peace out.